Welcome back to the Shop Mini RC. I'm Ken, and today I'm going to do a real quick video uh, for the Mini Z or 128 scale on road. Uh, we've got our Spectre here. This is the next racing Spectre. We have a video on it over here. We have a couple different videos, but we'll do the main build video over here. Uh, today we're replacing our spur gear and diff ball diff basically uh we kind of fried our our gears on our spur so we're going to be changing that out um but that's not what i wanted to show you i just want to show you guys this pn racing ultra light uh 1.29 gram ball diff shaft it's this guy here now i picked mine up on next racing usa but of course you can get it many other places that sell pn racing parts uh it was 15 bucks or 16 16 bucks i believe after shipping and all that stuff uh, we ordered a bunch of other stuff, so we just kind of averaged it out. But I think they're like $14.99. Anyway, we'll put a link in the description below. Now remember, with, with your drive shaft, it's a rotating mass, right? So you want to lighten up your rotating mass as much as possible, whether it's wheels, shaft, things of like that, bearings even, if, if you can get lighter weight bearings, all that stuff. You want it kind of as low weight as possible because it'll just, it makes your car uh, more nimble, right? So look at this. Let's, let's go ahead and... I mean, we already know the weight right here, right? It says 1.29. We'll just verify. 1.35. They're lying. Maybe because of our, our pin here. How much does a pin weigh? 0 0.07. So yeah, that, that, that would that would take off enough. So 1.35 minus the pin, you're gonna be at just under uh 1.29. Anyway, so that's 1.29. Here's our original axle shaft and pin. Look at that, 3.6. So this is less than half the weight. That is a huge savings, especially on a rotating mass. So this is gonna help your car be a lot more nimble and responsive um, and just lighter weight overall. And that allows you to also add weight to places if you need to add weight to hit your uh, classes minimum. Uh, this is super stock, so you gotta be at least 160 grams. Our car is actually over because we're running a brass chassis and this larger uh, servo. So we're at like 180. So we can, we can lose as much weight as possible wherever we can. Um, we just wanna lose it from the top or from the rotating masses. So when we put a Lexan body on here, it's definitely gonna lower the weight quite a bit. So we should still be underweight with our Lexan body um, or overweight, sorry. We should still be overweight with our Lexan body, uh, but this will help bring off a gram and a half almost. Well, over a gram and a half, actually. So, awesome. I just want to show you guys this. If you're running any of the higher end, uh, low CG chassis cars, lipo cars, and you're running the ball diff, you definitely want to consider getting the ultra light ball diff axle shaft from PN. Um, I believe they might make another version, but this is, this is the one we got. This is the V2 ultra light, and man, it is light. I mean, it just feels crazy light. We won't know about uh, durability and strength until we run it, but it should be good. I believe this is actually aluminum. So we uh, we are worried about that. But if we end up getting bent, I think there's a titanium version. I'm not sure the weight on that, but we'll end up snagging that up if we need a new shaft. Again, they're not too crazy expensive. It's worth trying. And that low weight is going to definitely, definitely help the responsiveness of your car. All right, guys, get out there, build something awesome. Crash and smash and bash them. Don't break any expensive parts. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.